Hi, this is Gali Gofarm and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling aware because today our quote of the day is, very few people really see things unless they've had someone in early life who made them look at things by Denise Levertov. Increased awareness of our surroundings is what allows more opportunity in. The more you notice what is going on around you, the higher your perception becomes. And when your perception is high, many opportunities and ideas for improving your day-to-day -day life and perhaps even other people's lives will come to you. When you notice what is happening around you and you become more aware through curiosity and wonder, things will start to show up for you. You will see things more clearly, you will see what other people do not see, and you will recognize more opportunities. This increased awareness is like the universe opening up and sharing its secrets with you. All it takes is observation and curiosity, a will to know what is going on, to notice the opportunities in, in every field of life. You can notice new foods that other people are eating and notice how they are being cooked and how they are being served through examining menus of restaurants. You will notice more people around you if you smile at them. Then your opportunity for relationships open up both for business networking and for personal relationships. Also, business ideas will come to you when you notice what other people are doing or not doing or having difficulties with. Also, ways of implementation distribution and marketing will come to you when you become aware of your surroundings and what other people did and are doing and what is generally going on. It is through heightened awareness of all the opportunities all around us that will inspire us to do things that we have never done before and even or even thought possible to do before. So how can we increase our awareness? Firstly, through self-education. By educating yourself on what interests you, you become more aware of new ideas. You grow as a producer and a, as a person, and then you implement, implement and execute and make your life better and perhaps even the world better. Jim Rohn said that formal education will make you a living, but self-education will make you a fortune. The more learned you become, the more opportunities you will become aware of. Self-learning, uh, self-education, is when you gather knowledge from many different sources through your interests and then you learn through your thought process by putting all of the pieces together. Knowledge from self-directed study, from experience and, and from awareness will open up the world for you. You must hold the reins of your education. This is the only way to progress in any field of life. Secondly, you want to look at things more intensely, with more curiosity. It all begins with awareness, with noticing what is going on around you. Once you observe things around you, this opens up your curiosity. And once you are curious about something, it sparks your interest, and then you go out and learn about it. No matter what the subject, when you have an interest in the subject, you can learn and retain what you have learned. Leonardo da Vinci said, that with study without desire spoils the memory and it retains nothing that it takes in. Now, this is so true. When we are forced to learn things that we are not interested, not really interested in, for example, when we learn only for exams, then the moment the exam is over, all of that information is lost. Our mind doesn't find any use to it and it puts it away, far away. <laughs> when we self-educate ourselves through curiosity that comes from awareness, we can produce original ideas, discover the world and life and move things to make us happier. Once you are curious and feed your curiosity through knowledge, then you have the ability to transform what you would like to transform and make it better for you and also for the benefit of other people. Thirdly, you want to learn from other people's knowledge and experience. You may want to learn from what other famous people did um, or high achievers did to overcome some problem that you see that you are experiencing at the moment and you know that they experienced as well. You read a biography of someone great and you comprehend different lessons from their life and you can implement them into your life. And then you see opportunities that can help you reach your goals. Fourth, 
you want to also think for yourself. Most people do not think for themselves. They accept what is there. They walk around as if they're wearing these horse blinkers, also called blinders, that prevent the horse from seeing uh, what's going on behind them and on the sides. Most people do not notice what is happening around them, and this forms a very limited outlook of life. This is what makes people also pessimistic. If you want to become successful in all fields of life, you must take off the blinkers and become more aware of your surroundings and of other people and of nature. To do this, self-education is great and experience is also good and your own experience as well as other people's experience is wonderful. Also thinking for yourself through introspection. Observe what is and then find what truths lie behind it. Sit still and observe. Then understand and use this knowledge to create opportunities for yourself. Isn't it so amazing to know that if you really want, you really can achieve your dreams by increasing your awareness awareness through curiosity, by self-learning, by reading books and biographies, watching movies about people and YouTube videos, and then implementing what you have learned for yours and other people's benefit. We can all do this. But most people are not aware of the process because they do not physically observe what is happening around them. They do not learn and they do not increase their understanding. They do not believe or they have forgotten their curiosity during their school years. Mark Twain said, I have never let my schooling interfere with my education. In order to bring back curiosity into your life, you want to have some time in solitude, especially in nature. But also in the middle of the city, is a busy city is also great, where you can sit and observe things and quietly contemplate on things. This is very important for making better choices for you in the future. When you become more aware, you will also see more of the wonders of the world that the world has to offer. And you will usually see the greatness in your own situation, which will make you happier and feel more alive. You will be more grateful for what you do have. Buddha said, if we could see the miracle of a single flower clearly, our whole life would change. Now is the time to show more awe on what is happening around you and to be more receptive and to intensify your curiosity and walk the path of self-learning to reach the life that you desire. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, how can I increase my awe in life? And which movies can I watch? Which biographies can I read? And where can I go to quietly sit and observe what is happening around me? Where can I sit in solitude for a few minutes or hours and contemplate? Now that you know what and where you can do these things, find the time to do them. It is really important to awaken your senses and open up your life to the bountiful opportunities that are available to you but are kept in secret until you are ready to open and to hear these secrets from, from, the, from the world around you. So as usual, I recommend writing down these questions in a notebook especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and make sure that you're moving your life towards the best place for you. To finish off, the affirmation of the day is, everyday opportunities open up before me because I am curious about life and I am more aware of the world around me. Every day, opportunities open up before me because I am curious about life and I am more aware of the world around me. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it of value and it was useful for you. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.